Well, hello, hello, and welcome everyone to our BG5 Live. So today, today is November 17th, 2020. This is episode number 79. And today we are going to take a look at power skills. We're going to take a look at trait 14 in quality number two, and we're going to take a look at the fuel to empower management. All right, so we're going to take a look at that fuel today. So let's go ahead and get started by saying hello to our panel. So let's start with Natalie. Hey, Natalie, welcome. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Great to have you. And let's go to Chris. Hey, Chris. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Glad you're here. Great to have you here, Chris and Rob. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, Let's just jump in and uh, get started again. Um, my name is Karen. And again, welcome to everyone who is attending live in our Zoom room. Uh, welcome to you that uh, to all of you who are watching live via Facebook. And welcome all of you who are listening via the recording as well. So great to have you all here. Uh, we are continuing our uh, journey through transformation, beginning that uh, journey last week by taking a look at creative self-expression and taking a look at breakthrough. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at the power skills. We're going to take a look at the fuel to empower in trait 14. Um, next week, again, we can see that in the next couple weeks, we're going to have a lot of power, if you will, personal individual power um, in the power skills in the 14th, next week, uh, the power skills in the 34, uh, and then we'll take a look at focusing. So again, the next two are really focused on that, that individuality as we have that theme through November, the theme of transformation and individual power. So we're really taking a look at that individual power here as well. You know, it's, it's interesting that on the other side of this, you know, the, the these power skills um, is the eight, right? The eight is about making a contribution. So if we take a look at what uh, these power skills are all about, ultimately it's grounded in making a contribution. So even though it is individual, uh, part of this individuality is part of the penta as well as part of the material vortex of the penta. And so ultimately it comes to um, that um, individual expression in the eight that makes a contribution. Uh, just a couple other interesting things as well. You know, we, we've took, taken a look at uh, um, over here, we've taken a look at the past and the future direction. Again, we are still in the 45-4 and the 26-4. Um, so again, taking a look at that gathering together and, and marketing and PR, still part of the background environment. Our communication, we took a look at the 44 not too long ago. Um, so if we take a look at the 44, remember that's of alertness, the, um, the instinct for what will be ben uh, beneficial for the group. Um, so we can see that uh, this particular strength of the 4426 is activated today, as well as um, we're still searching for that inner truth. And inner truth is also showing up in our laws, our personal laws. And so, um, you know, so no, no, not only is um, 61 part of our truth and transformation, um, we're all, all re, we're also searching for it within our, our personal laws as well. So what are um, our personal laws when it comes to what is our own inner truth? Uh, so just a couple of uh, fascinating things to point out. We have the, the, we actually have the 51 as well in the maturing energy, right? So there could be uh, some, some shock in the uh, maturing energy um, as we communicate these, um, these uh, things that we're uh, being alerted to or aware of. So again, very, very fascinating to see um, as we're um, moving through these very uh, interesting times at the end of 2020. So let's dive into the 14. I have the 14 NV because I have the two on the other side, but I don't have the 14. This happens to be one of my bridging traits. Uh, so this is one that I know quite well, but not from having it, but from um, feeling or hoping or wishing that I had it <laughs> as one of my bridging traits. So it's also one of my shadows as well. Um, so let's take a look at this trait 14 um, as power skills. Oh, before we do that, um, I, I forgot to ask, does anyone have anything to add here? <laughs> Sorry about that. You did a beautiful job. So <laughs> no problem. <laughs> 
Nothing to add? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> All right, let's continue onward. All right, let's take a look at this 14, this uh, 14 of power skills. This is possession in great measure. Um, this is also the accumulation and retention of power through skilled interaction coupled with grace, uh, couple, coupling grace with control. Um, it's the empowering of the direction of others through the distribution of available resources. This is really part of what the 14 does. And one of the things that's very unusual about the 14 is that it is one of the, um, uh, one of the skills, also part of one of the strengths in the Penta, which is the transoric form of the Penta, also of the OC16 as well. It's one of those strengths, the 214, that is both in the Penta and in the OC16. And it really is about empowering the direction of others. And it's empowering the direction of others through the distribution of available resources, right? So here are all the resources. It's the two on the other side that then helps with that distribution. This is the gas pedal that controls when and how resources are released. That's why I have this picture of this car because it's really putting your foot on the gas. This is the gas pedal that, that provides this. It's a part of the material vortex. It's part of the energy that gets us moving forward in a particular direction. Remember two is on the other side and this makes up the strength of direction. So this is the gas pedal uh, that controls when and how resources are released. And these resources are not directly for your own use, but yours to manage in order to empower others and to support individual creativity. So if you happen to have the 14 in your design, right, this is power skills, this is possessions in great measure, this is the treasure, the treasure chest. Um, but again, these resources are not for you personally, right? It's for you to manage to empower others and to in support individual creativity. Again, ultimately, um, what grounds the 14, um, as we saw, is really this ability to make a contribution. And it's part of the material vortex of the Penta, and it is the skill of capacity. It is the, the capacity is the, the energy, the resources, the money, the, um, the personnel, et cetera, that really keeps a business flowing, um, that keeps a business in operation. Without the 14, whether you have a small group or a large group, it's not going to operate uh, very well. So uh, the 14 is, is really important, um, both in business, right, both in large groups, small groups, um, as well as, like I said, for me, it's my bridging trait. So it's, so it's important there as well. So I would love to hear, I know, Chris, you have the 14 in your design. I'd love to hear a little bit about how that shows up for you. It's interesting. It's my driving force. And I think it, there's, it shows up twice in the first line. And I will be honest, this is one that I don't, I don't know that I fully get it. It's also in my, um, Oh yeah. It's also yeah, here. Down yep. there. I, it, it's like, and I suspect the, the thing, here's what I get about it is that if I try to use the resources for my benefit only, bad, no good, no bueno, it does not work. It, everything is like comes to a screeching halt. But um, I guess that maybe I do know something about it. So now that's I'm talking about it, but I- yeah. It's what's but, hidden by the way also. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> even from me, especially from me. Um, <laughs> but but uh, when I am, um, when I am really helping other people understand their resources, when I use my resources to help other people understand their resources, I can launch them in directions that they didn't even know. So it's sort of like if I use my energy uh, to, you know, my time and my energy and my wisdom and all of the, those things to help them launch in a direction. I use my resources to help them see their resources. It works, but if it's all about me, it doesn't work. And um, there was some other piece of that. Now I can't think of what it is. It just went out of my head, but um, 
Yeah, it's a, it's it's interesting. Yeah, I'm and really I'm, I'm cu- yeah, I'm curious also because you don't have the two on the other side. Right. Ugh. So here's. <laughs> so annoying the the thing yeah the thing about that is that I have I I feel like I have an engine that's just ready to go and I have no idea where I'm going like it's 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 like where are we going where just I'll I'll provide the resources I'll I'll put the gas just tell me where we're going and I'll I'll get us there and I think that's the part that I, you know, personally, and even in my business has been a great struggle when I, when I don't know where I'm going, I just, it's like all these re- this material, the resources are there. I just, I'm not sure where to take them. Yeah, exactly. And then I have exactly the opposite problem. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so this is, this is, um, you know, really a, um, you know, a a power dynamic here with, you know, for myself, I have the two, but I don't have the 14, Mm -hmm. you know, there, uh, therefore I feel like I have to do it all myself. I have to have all of the resources. I know exactly where to go. I just don't have the resources to get there. And, you know, this is one of my bridging traits. This is also what makes me a collaborative assimilation. And so, um, you know, partnering with, uh, you know, with Chris, um, Uh, I know Lavina also had the 14, Uh, Linda has the 14. So partnering and creating with someone who has the resources um, has made all the difference for me. So again, if you have the two on the other side and you don't have the 14, right? That's one of the dynamics that that can come into play. And it really is in a sense in business because in 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 essence, this is one of the core, excuse me, one of the core strengths of business because it is both in the Penta and in the OC16. And in a sense, the 14 is very dependent on the two and the two is very dependent on the 14. So it's a very interesting dynamic there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Chris. Yeah, thank you. And and how about uh, for you, Rob, or, or Natalie, that you don't have the two or you don't have the 14, you know, how does it show up for you? Or how do you see it, especially, you know, uh, with it being activated currently. How do you see it for us, uh, Natalie? You've worked with both. <laughs> what's, your, what's your observation of us? <laughs> well, I've been working with Karen a little bit longer, so I see the envy. <laughs> now, the, the fascinating thing, what I find about this one, and, and, and well, actually both the 14 and the two, it is individual energy, right? It's individual circuitry. So it's about, about being you, being yourself. But this is, this is a, a, an interesting one, as you shared, right? Because it, it is what links the individual really to being in a group, being in a team, working in a business, um, and empowering the direction of others. That's where it truly can flourish, right? It's like, there's something about it that, and, and as Chris shared, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have it for myself. It's, it is almost like you are really here to empower, you know, humanity group, whatever part you are of, it could be friends, but uh, your sports team or your business, uh, both small and large groups. So, um, and um, I've, I've heard you shared about this before, uh, Chris, that you, you do have this, this creative way of helping others to see where they can find the resources, where they can, you know, go and get them going. And on the other hand, Karen, um, the, the envy is that, that you don't have, you know, the energy yourself. So the, the, the thing about uh, uh, knowing where to go and your vision is so big that, you know, but you also try to do it all yourself and, and you are here, yeah, to collaborate and to, to work with people who have the 14 and also delegate and that, that at times is difficult uh, having this bridging trade, but um, but yeah, it's it's this is a fascinating one that you really truly learn about in, in Beach Five certification, uh, and then going forward in OC sixteen. But it is it is interesting how you know the individual links to the you know the, the collective to the uh, and and how actually all of uh, all of design works together, right? 
And and at first when I learned about it, oh my kitty is like, damn it, you closed the door. <laughs> I'll open the door. But um, so uh, yeah, it's it's a fascinating one. Let me uh, give it to Rob. <laughs> I like what you said, Natalie, and Chris, I will accept your invitation to talk about you and Karen right now. Um, I so, so, I mean, if you can recall it, so yesterday the, the four of us got together and we had, we had our team Penta meeting. We talked about lots of stuff. And remember when you came up with the idea for the button and then it was just like fuel, it's like the rocket left the, the, the pad, right? Because your fuel, Karen's direction and boom, ideas began moving. And so yeah. um, that's what I would say, you know, in terms of my analysis of the two of you and how that worked together, that, that's just one. Um, and yeah, like, so, so guys, for, the, for, the, for those of you that are watching and, and you haven't taken the certification course yet, or you, ha you haven't learned about the Penta, which is a group, or you haven't learned about OC16, which is larger groups, this 14 right here, this is, uh, so Chris used Spanish earlier and I'll use Spanish. Muy importante. Okay. <laughs> it's very important. It's vital. Um, when the 14 doesn't exist in a small group, nothing happens. Yeah. Nothing. No gas in the car. So everyone get out and start pushing. And that's what happens in organizations. Push, 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 effort, effort, effort. But it's met with equal resistance every time. Right? And so if you're ever working with a small group and they're like, we're putting in all this effort, but we're getting nowhere. I'll bet that if you did a penta analysis, you might find that the 14 is, is, is probably absent. And, and then mm. with the big groups, uh, you get to learn more about this in OC16, so I don't want to spoil the movie, but th this person in, in the organization and the corporation could quite possibly be one of the most powerful people because they hold all the goodies, but they don't let go of it until you can give them a plan that has direction, that's going to help others. All the pieces have to be there. And so leaders, owners of businesses, solo entrepreneurs, this flow, this energy that comes straight out of the, the energy resource, it's here right now, like harness it, use it. Um, it's a gift, um, you know? And, and again, you're, you're probably gonna get sick of hearing me say this, but the timing is always perfect. Mm -hmm. Now is a great time. Because everyone's kind of in scarcity mode. Like, how am I going to survive? Where's my next job going to come from? Blah, blah, blah. Next client, blah, blah, blah. You got this gas. Get up, get with that direction and go and, and help the world with this. It's, it's sitting right there to be used. Oh, my God. That is so true, Rob. And, you know, I'm really thank you for your reflection on that. Because it's just going back to our team meeting the other day about this. It was like. We're looking at something and I'm just sitting there going, mm, mm, mm. and that's what happens in my sessions with my clients too, is that they're like, well, how do I, they, you know, they might have a vision or something, but they can't see how their resources can be moved. And mm -hmm. what I see is the, um, is that it's, it, it's the gas pedal, but it's also like, I can see, like, I'm just sitting there waiting for you show me, you know, like oftentimes my clients will come, they're like, oh, I have this idea or I have this business idea. And I'm like, meh, meh, meh. Like, <laughs> you know, it's kind of been done. It's a little bit old. Like that's like 10 years ago. What else do you got? Because if you don't have something else, like I'm not going to get, there's no way I can give it the gas that mm -hmm. will let you launch it. And, but my clients who have something like you will know, I am, a, I will be, you can hear it in my voice. I'm super excited. I'm very animated. I'm like, get off your ass, do this thing. I mean, I know there's a couple of you watching right now. I can see you and I know <laughs> you've gotten those messages from me where I'm like, the get, I can feel the power of it. And I'm like, let's go. And so when a client like puts on the brakes because they're afraid or something like that, then I then I gotta work with them around that. But it is like if somebody's idea has legs or their their business or whatever, and it's gonna really reach the masses, I am like, 
all in and I will show you exactly how it's gonna go and I'll give you the words and I'll like, here's the gas pedal, let's go. And mm. um, yeah, so thank you. Cause I couldn't, I can't see it. I just do it. So thanks Rob. I really appreciate you showing me yeah. what I do. <laughs> I love you it. Bet. Uh, I'm curious to know from you, Chris, like, cause you're a builder, right? Yeah. And you're the energy to get things done on this planet. It's, you've made this very clear with this 14 that's looking for the two on the other side, you know, that's that, that, uh, do it's not dormant energy, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you, does it ever feel like you're in like this race car with the foot on the yes. brake, just waiting for the green light or? Yes. Yeah. That's, that is really, that's why I'm saying like, and if I even look at my designs, so we're doing profit potential, right? And I'm here to bond and partner. And what I realize is that if I look at my career and especially with design, the clients where I bonded with them and I'm like, I am all in i i'm really partnering with them like i see their vision i believe in their vision I, it's exciting to me it turns me on if, if i'm like that is fresh that is new i then we go and it's awesome and if it's sort of like ah, you know i've kind of like we could do this we could kind of truck it along i'll give gas but it's not the same it just doesn't mm. but that bonding and that really like that partnering it's so much in there if i believe in them they got they have this whole behind it is amazing and it what feels really good for me it's like this huge release mm. of all that energy and honestly the payment is just a bonus because the the release and the like fun of watching them launch and go is it's ecstatic. It's incredible. Wow. Yeah. And I, I love also what you said, just to, to pull out one little distinction here too, is that if it's the same old, same old, uh, yeah. mm, like impress me. this isn't, uh. this is an individual right? This is in the individual circuitry. This is an individual trait. This is bringing forth what is new, what is different, what is unique, yeah. right? So that's what also then excites you. Yes. That's what it's, it's a, it's literally, it's very, it has a kind of a turn on. Like I'm, I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, it's yeah. like, okay, whatever, you know, <laughs> it's like, but that's how, I, how I, it's yeah. like impress me, you know, there's like, a, there's something about that. And, yeah. and the people that really do, oh my gosh, it's amazing what we create. And we work together for a long time Yeah, on it. Yeah. And that's, that's the power of this energy, right? This, this is the power of that, that, that sacral energy that, you know, that generative energy you know, that energy resource, that's what it's all about when it's released, doing something that you love and loving what you do. Yeah, really beautiful. And it looks like we have uh, quite a few uh, comments in the chat as well. Yeah, so to, uh, Tonya was saying, oh, I so resonate with those statements about the 14. And uh, Shauna was saying, I also have the two and not the 14. And I've always felt I was meant to be partnered with someone else. Yep. Exactly. And, uh, and Lisa was saying, I love how you described your experience, Chris, having the gas, but not knowing where the team needs to go, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Dominice uh, says, I have the 14 without the two, I can pull things out of the air for other people. Yes. And Antonia also says, yes, corporate is really good at pushing, 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 you know, yes, the race car. <laughs> And Lisa is saying, it, um, it's just like you give uh, legacy leaders legs. Yes. I, it's, so, it's so interesting you say that, Lisa, because that's, I'm often like, does your idea, because I used to do TED Talk coaching, it's like, does your idea, does your thing have legs? If it doesn't have legs, I can't, it doesn't have something, because I'm going to give you rocket fuel so it, so you can run with it. If it doesn't have legs, they'll just like that and it's no fun so yeah exactly you know I, I think that's a really 
you know, everything that that we've shared so far, I think is just a really powerful expression of of really what this trade is all about and, and how it gets connected and what it provides. And uh, we're going to take a, a, a deeper look at it in taking a look at the second quality. And if we take a look at trait 14, this power skills, and we take a look at it in quality two, it's about management, right? This is part of what we were talking about. Um, and this is whenever we're taking a look at quality two, this is about the natural. And this is the wisdom that investing in expertise brings reward. Right, so this is about delegating. This is not about doing it all yourself, right? This is what I was saying earlier that I get caught up in, you know, trying to do all, all of it myself. And as Natalie said, you know, it really is about this, this delegation as well. So we can take a look at the elevation. The elevation is expansion, the ability to delegate responsibility. The key to power lies not in trying to be and do everything alone. Right. And so this is, you know, as we were talking about this, even that relationship between the 14 and the two, right, not doing everything by yourself, working in the collaboration, as you know, Chris was talking about, you know, the bonding and connecting and, and being able to delegate. Now, the challenge on the other side is the vanity to be one's best expert. The key to power is doing everything individually. Right, so it could be um, about delegation. It could be about doing everything individually as well. I have, uh, you know, both sides to that as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's an interesting thing to take a look at here. Um, you know, in this power skills, you know, where do you have the key to power in doing everything individually, or the key to power in being able to delegate and uh, and being able to again the wisdom in investing in expertise brings its reward. So you don't have to know everything. I think um, Henry Ford was brilliant at this. Um, he didn't know everything, but he knew the right people to ask the right questions of, you know, that made him look brilliant, but he didn't have to keep all of the information or know all the information himself. He knew which button to push in order to get in touch with the person who did have that expertise. So I would love to hear from uh, from our panel. What uh, what do you see in uh, this quality two of trait fourteen? I looked at this this morning, and uh, the first thing that it spoke to was what I actually you know my profession in recruiting. I, I see them speaking to leaders or, or hiring authorities. I believe that you can have the top performer in every position. Mm. It doesn't mean that you have to spend all this money. It's just whatever the salary band is you can have the, the top performer in every position. Um, and, and with that, and see what I'm saying right now kind of sounds like a basic, but like when you do this, you get the rewards. Leaders are only as good as the teams that they assemble, right? And the leaders that do get locked down with the idea of trying to be, it, be all and do all, uh, they actually take, they rob their teams of the, mm -hmm. of the opportunity to grow, to excel, and to promote them further down their trajectory. So, again, it's it's sitting right here for everybody to use. Like, don't you don't need to be all things to all people. And here we go again. You just be the colored parts of your chart. Yep. Other people have other colors that you don't have, and like, let them play the game too. Yep. It's exactly. Exactly. And I think this is part of the, the switch in the dynamics um, of where business is going to, right? It's part of what we teach in, in BG5 and BG5 certification is, you know, when you do you, when you do the color parts of you, right? You don't have to worry about all trying to do everything. You do the pieces that you love to do, right? That that are thrilling, that are enjoying, that are, that are easy, that brings you satisfaction or peace or success or delight and surprise, right? And when we do that, again, a lot of managers, you know, in the, in the traditional sense, um, think that they need to micromanage, that they need to be better than everyone else, that they need to compete against everyone else because they need to show that they're the best, 
right? But when you allow each person to really be in the spotlight of what their role is, you create a completely different type of team. Where the, the sum of the parts is greater than the, or the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And kind of what Rob was saying around, um, you know, if that, the so what happens if they're trying to be the leader and I have to be everything, that's usually the ego and the ego's in there wanting to have the power. And this, if we look at power skills, it's like the skill to recognize the power in others because, and Rob, mm. you pointed this out. It's like, not only are they robbing, they're robbing the, the fuel. They're actually siphoning off the fuel of the business and the resources. They're not building the resources so the sucker can take off. They're, they're le leaking or leaching that fuel. So this is really also about right use of power in, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about power next week as well, but this is another form of it uh, in form of the resources to, to do things. So. Yeah. yeah beautifully and, said, Chris. And yeah. Exactly. Natalie. And, uh, what just popped in my mind. Um, I forgot it. I get back to it. <laughs> I saw Rob on mute as well. Go, go Rob. I get back to it. Oh, no, I was going to throw something funny in there. You you know, Chris, you were talking about sharing the resources down here. So I live in Texas and down by the Gulf, um, one, one of the creatures that we pull out of the Gulf are called crawfish. And so one of the aphorisms that, that used to get said, said back in the day was, come on, man, share the crawfish. <laughs> anyway. I appreciate I appreciate all y'all laughing. It really wasn't that good, but I felt like I felt like I had to share it. Thank you. I'll make up for it later. <laughs> if there's more where that I, came from, you'll be here all week. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. yeah. Well, I, I would, yeah. Sorry. So so think of this. So um, you talked about not sharing the energy. I, I the second you said that too, Chris, outside of the crawfish thing, which we've all forgotten now. Thank you. Um, <laughs> is what a tragedy it would be if Chris's 14 was to never be welcomed, mm. invited, used, right? Yeah. And I'll tell you, when I've met with someone who, you know, maybe it's a potential client or it's a situation and it, and it is that where they're like, oh yeah. And then, but they're not, they don't want to go there either because of their own fear or they just don't want to see it or whatever. They like can't receive the juice and which happens unfortunately more often than not, usually because that person is afraid and they, mm. they don't see what I see in their idea. They don't see it yet for themselves. And so they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But and for what happens for me is that it kicks me into working harder than they do. It can kick me into working more and trying to use my resources mm. than to fuel their vision and almost convince them of their genius. And that is something I'm no longer available for. Like, yeah. you know, that's why I like, take foundation course, take a group program, go ahead and learn about this yourself. Like I'm, cause when I've worked with the high leaders who are, who are mostly in alignment, they mostly get it and they're taking their level, to, they're like legacy leaders, like Lisa was saying, and they're ready to go to that next level. Though that's where I'm just like, oh yeah, baby, let's go. This is so, it's so much more fun because I don't have to try to convince them that they're that what they have is brilliant or the or the team or business or the group like yeah they just get it and they're like great where do we go from here i'm like let's go yep exactly and i think you point out something really important chris is that um you know and this is part of being a builder this is a builder trait right so it operates in response. And if you are not operating from response, it can drain you of resources. It can drain you of energy if it is not utilized properly. So it's really important to utilize this energy properly 
in response being a builder. Oh, yep. That is absolutely essential because burnout can happen very, very quickly here. Yep. Very quickly. Yep. Exactly. Natalie, did you want to go ahead and- Yeah, uh, well, what I wanted to add about the management and, and the, the new style of management, I think in the old days, whenever that was, um, a manager got to that level because he he did the job, he, 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 he acquired the skills, everything himself, right? And then, and then was able to guide others. And, and, but from expertise in being able to do it himself as well or herself. And now we're getting more to, you know, do the colored parts of you and the managers using and seeing each colored part, you know, the great, the great power skills are there to acknowledge you can bring this and then you do that and, and you can bring this and you do that. And that's the new type of manager, the new type of manager being mostly advisors, right? If in the ideal situation, being able to recognize the talents. And, and that's where the difference is in being able to delegate. Like you don't have to do everything yourself. You just do your color part. You're good at, you know, being a Chris type of person, uh, empowering uh, <laughs> the, the, the vision and then, you know, for the, for the team to ignite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that was just what i was uh, thinking you are muted karen they're doing lawn work right outside my windows <laughs> so i was muting myself because it was a little noisy but um i was just going to say that you that you make a really good point in that um you know now i forgot what i was going to say <laughs> yeah, um yeah. Oh, yeah. That we're that we're switching into you know a, a different type of management, right? And a management where again the the delegation and allowing people to do them, allow people allowing people to do their their colored parts of them, you know, become really important. And Lisa says, I love that Rob about the colors, right? It's like the team that paints together stays together, right? Oh. So I, I really love that. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So who do we have this week? I'm curious. I haven't looked at the slides yet. <laughs> so, um, oh, there's Chris and myself. And we have Danny DeVito. Oh, interesting. <laughs> He's an actor, a comedian, um, a, a producer. He also is a screenwriter. Um, he gained prominence for his betrayal of uh, the taxi dispatcher, Louis De Palma, in the TV series of Taxi. Um, and has appeared in many films and became a major film and television producer as well. And so when we take a look at what the life work theme is, the life work theme is contagion. Um, so you're committed to making a potential contribution to society through your accumulation and retention of power or money, um, resources used wisely to empower or fuel humanity's growth, development, and evolution. Right. So as a, as an actor, as a producer, probably should have, I should have listed some of the films that he produced as well. Cause now I can't remember them off the top of my head, but um, you know, I think uh, Ellen Brocko, Brockovich, I think that's how you say it. I think that's one of the movies that, um, that he produced. But when you take a look at the list of, you know, both the movies that he's and television shows that he's been in and the movies that he's produced, you know, it's, it's quite an impressive list. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Danny DeVito is our representative of the, uh, of the 14 two. I don't know if there's anything our panel would like to say, or if there's anything also in our Facebook or in our, our zoom room as well. Well, in our Facebook, uh, is, is, uh, we have Debbie and Debbie has the 14. So she's like, uh, going like, Oh yeah, thank you for sharing that light bulb moment, Chris. And, you know, can also attest to to the new way of man management, uh, being an innovator, and etc. There's there's a lot, and you know, and how about if they are if there are two people who have the fourteen and there's no two, well then there's just the gas pedal, but you know, just <laughs> <laughs> no direction to go, no direction, no vision where to put the resources, etc. So uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, well, one of the 
one of the ways that can happen there if we don't have a vision, but we have all this, these resources that um, we, we may start spending those resources. So I, mm. for me, I could, I've seen that where it's like, okay, where are these resources going to go? Uh, you know, it's either like helping in situations where it may or may not be welcome or it's like, I want to contribute somewhere. Let me contribute somewhere, but I haven't, I'm not necessarily, it could be around responding, but it might not be. It could be like just spending money and not like using it wisely. Uh, those types of things can show up. Yeah. There's not that too, right? Yeah. So it's not only the energetic burnout, but it could be just yeah. using resources improperly. Right. Yes. I, I actually had a team that I worked with that had the 14, but didn't have the two. And um, this particular team, the resources were being used in ways that really were not very appropriate. So, um, you know, so it's kind of interesting if it lacks that direction, it can just be spent on things that that really aren't appropriate for moving that business forward. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'll be totally transparent that when I first started my business and I made a ton of investments, not really understanding what my, not knowing my design at all and spending a lot of money and time and got myself into debt. And then it, as I've come more into alignment with my right use of my power, you know, was able to eliminate that. And that I totally apply that to my coming into alignment with my design and right use of my energy and my th these resources and understanding that energetic debt equals financial debt, yes. you know, or relationship debt or whatever. So they all go together. Yep, exactly. What exactly. I like about the life work is you, you see it literally written out, right? Like to, mm. to make a potent contribution to society through the accumulation and retention of power and money resources and resources used wisely to empower and fuel humanity's growth so now you're not your personal growth but really the development of you know the group humanity it's yep. interesting yep exactly yeah. you know and you could even hear it in what chris was saying you know i want to i want to contribute in some way right and so you know the oftentimes again if there's no direction it can be spent in ways you know, that really, that, that put you in debt, right? Put you in, in debt energetically or financially. Yeah. And one other thing, Lisa says, just that my husband with gate 14 knows who can do what and hires accordingly. Same thing. Like I can look at a team and go, you can do this and you do this. And I, I remember um, my in-laws had me hire someone on their team like years ago. I think that person is still there. Like I met mm. with them and I go, yeah, this is a great person. Hire this person. They're like, are you sure? I go, yeah, they're great. And the, the, that person stayed there longer than they did. You know, it's like, definitely can see the resources in people as, as well as the ideas and that. Yeah. It's a really great point, Lisa. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Well, very, very powerful, powerful discussion. And uh, again, if you want to, uh, if you want to follow along, um, through our BG5 Lives. Again, you can download your own chart and take a look at, do you have it defined? Do you not have it defined? How does it affect you? Um, you can also take a look at our BG5 Lives to give you the theme for the day. You can also watch past episodes as well. Um, we also have our classes that are coming up uh, soon here in January. So, uh, so check out the new classes as, you know, as Chris was talking about, you know, really starting with the foundation course can give you a very solid foundation um, in your own design and how to, in a sense, fine tune your instrument, knowing what are the colored parts of you, just like Rob was talking about, um, so that you can utilize them in the proper way and realize also what is not you as well. So invite you to, uh, to check out our courses. So let's wrap everything up by just taking a look at um, what would each of we, what would each of you share? What, what would you, what should we pay attention to uh, in this next week in having trait 14 defined? Um, what should we look out for? What should we recognize? What should we uh, pay attention to um, throughout this next week? Do you like to start, Natalie? Yeah, I'm 
pondering how it would affect if you get it, you know, conditioned in your design. Um, I think you may think you have the resources and not knowing where to put it and then just go about, right? Like blindly, so watch out for that. And on the other end, if you have an idea, you may find that all of a sudden it gets rolling, right? So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. How about for you, Rob? Um, so we're talking about the energetic resource in response, right? So, uh, and there's been just phenomenal examples Thank you, Chris. And so what I would say is like, pay attention to that thing. Like Chris was talking about earlier where it, it was a turn on where it was just like an automatic launch where it was just like huge, strong impulse. And then pay attention to the times when it's just kind of like, mm, no, mm. yeah, uh -uh. And, 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 and be judicious with your energy in that way. Like, don't give it away. You don't have to give the crawfish away. <laughs> I like how you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> we used to call them crawdads. Um, yeah, crawdads. They're good, actually boiled. They're really yummy. Mm -hmm. Um, the I would say that if you have trait 14, and and this is something that I'm just noticing myself, is that you know, be okay with like just revving the engine without having to go until you meet that vision that, that lights you up. And um, I know myself that that sometimes can feel very much like nothing's gonna happen, nothing's gonna happen. I gotta go make something happen myself. And um, instead of waiting to respond for that, that correct thing or afraid of missing out or something like that or afraid that, I've, that I might miss the boat. And so, uh, you might refine, just play with that. If you have trait 14, refining the experience. And really, if you're a builder type to come from your response, and if you're another type to follow your, your uh, appropriate decision-making strategy, waiting to be invited to use those resources and so on and so forth. Yeah. So just notice your body, this is in the body. This is not in the mind, it's in the body and specifically in the sacral. So this is going to uh, really be something to be listening to your body about. Yeah, beautifully said, Chris. Yeah, and, the, and again, being the energy resource, um, you may find that you have a bit more energy. Um, also, we're moving into 34 next week as well, which is also connected to the energy resource as well. So in the next couple of weeks, you may feel that you have more energy or you may, and, and you may use that energy incorrectly, or again, just as Chris said, you know, following your decision-making strategy is always going to be key. So pay attention to what are those resources? What are those power skills? How do you use them? How do you delegate and really do what is you and let everything else go? So with that, thank you all very, very much. Uh, it has been a very, very rich discussion. Uh, so thank you all of us, all of you that are here live in our Zoom room. Again, if you're here on Facebook, welcome and thank you. And uh, again, if you are watching us via the recording as well, it's been great, excellent conversation and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.